Boys, I've thought of a new phrase. I've What's thought of a new that, phrase. What's that, Ted? I've, it's, it's a new hip one. All the kids are going to love it. It's called mm -hmm. goosin. Well, well, that sounds so funny. I might just lay an egg. What does what does that mean? <laughs> That's funny. It sounds like you're a chicken. Not as funny um, as goosin, though. What is that? Do I want to so be goosing? Imagine this: you are you you really like Korean barbecue, and you want to get a get a, get, a, get a good bite of that uh, of that beef bulgogi, right? Oh, so you oh. say to your friends, oh, so, mm. "So good." Yeah, exactly. Oh. You says to him, "You says to him, okay. oh man, I'm goosing for some Korean barbecue right now. You're I'm right. goosing for it." And what's the like? What's the sort? Dissect the word for me. Prefix goosing suffix, roots. Right. Um, Got that. I was I was running on. Uh, I hadn't slept in 32 hours. Okay, and that's I was, all I need. And I was thinking about it, and I and I invented the word, and I think that everyone's gonna like it. You guys like the our listeners? They like favorite puppy. They're gonna love goosin. Well, listen, I'm goosin to start the podcast, baby. Chuckle sandwich is back. Hey, let's goose right right in. in. Yeah, welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. So guys, let's talk about the big fat goose in the room. We're no longer in person, okay? <laughs> We're and no longer and in if person. I can just be honest, I'm not really goosing about it. It's weird. I'm trapped behind the screen and I can't reach out and and wrap my arm around Schlimbo or Timbo anymore. Schlimbo and Timbo. Schlimbo and the Timbo. Fuck? Where this is we what I started. Members? Well, have we, we been replaced? Right Do you not remember our? F these are our fuck week names. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> right, You're right. This is actually this? the first episode of Fuck Week. Everyone. Oh my god, it is. It is. Yeah, this, if we've been working towards it for for months now. This is the first time that uh, the three of us have recorded a podcast episode in like three months. So mm. excuse us if we if you know <laughs> we don't know how <laughs> we had a luxurious break. It was truly ex wide, expansive. It was what you guys get done in your in your great chuckle. For for you guys, it was chuckle week, which was really chuckle three months. But for us, it was big chuckle break. Exactly, dude. <laughs> I've been laying around jerking off, doing nothing because yeah. this is the only thing I do. I don't know if you guys realize I yeah. upload like yeah. every other month anyways. So like this is it. This is all I have. And now that I'm back, I'm kind of upset. I kind of don't want to do it anymore. Yeah, and you don't uh, have as much time for the fulcrum anymore. No, I don't even know what the word fulcrum what the means. Is the you said, you said you were fulcrum? laying on your <laughs> you, you I don't know you were what laying a fulcrum on your bed. Is, but what is the fulcrum <laughs> you, in this context? You're laying on your bed, jacking off. And, and all what you part of do that is, is you, the fulcrum? What are you saying? So that even so you just you just put some force in your legs, so you're sort of at an angle. What the you hell know? are you what? talking about? Okay, Ted's what are you the fucking podcast. Saying? <laughs> the rest of the podcast will be conducted by me and Charlie. Are you saying <laughs> his fucking the only thing that could be the fulcrum is his Let fucking us know in dick the comments he's jerking off, dude? What the <laughs> hell are you talking about? Let us know in the comments below if you've engaged in a bit of a tactical fulcrum maneuver. That sounds your, that your sounds wing. foul. What a topic befitting of <laughs> fuckle week, surely. So, let, I'll be honest with you guys right now. The fulcrum didn't exist until I heard Schlatt saying he'd been laying in his bed jerking off, and I was like, "What's a strategy I could think of right now?" No, I like you the ever fulcrum. do the wall method. You do the wall method, guys. Okay, so I say fulcrum, you lay on, but then you, you lay on the wall bed. method. You you, you run bed. your you walk your you, you you go sideways, right? You walk your legs. Up the wall until, <laughs> that's like, until you are sucking your own cock. Okay. You ever do that? <laughs> that's like this. That's like <laughs> that's like the fulcrum 2.0. What kind of deranged <laughs> fucking question is that? <laughs> Obviously, think, you've never like, tried to suck your own cock. Do you ever okay? get under your mattress and jerk off your dick through the bars in the supporting wood? Well, it's well, Charlie, like that's formally position. that's called the holy wrench. So, I mean, yeah, and that's what the Mormons a, do because Mormons yeah. can't jerk off, so they put shit in their in their boy pussy, <laughs> and then they have. Some <laughs> well, I, this is we, we have their roommate. This. If we were next to each other, you would never say that. You and would then never boom, say boom, that. Boom, boom, boom! They hit the top of the mattress, and Jesus then it, and then the Christ. object kind of you know moves on its own, so they're not you know there's no intercourse going on, there's no jerking off going on. It's just kind of happening to them. It's funny that you mentioned they, Mormon yeah, techniques. Yeah, and then they fold from their pants. 
Yeah, exactly. They fall from their pants. <laughs> just, they just fall crumbed everywhere. <laughs> it's funny that you mentioned uh, Mormons in this in this very explicit beginning of this podcast, slat. Because it, have, dude, you heard it, have you heard it? Have you heard it? I just gotta. I just gotta mention this now because I'm never gonna remember it again. But have you heard of soaking? Have I told you about soaking, slat? No, I have and not heard of soaking. Surely not just in so, the tub, is it? In Mormonism, it's it's you know illegal or whatever to you know have sex before marriage. So apparently, what uh, Mormons <laughs> the, the do in college arrest, is yeah. they. <laughs> they do uh, yeah the mormon police burst down your door they they got they got trackers in everyone's cocks um they they do what's they'll, called they'll put soaking. you in lead handcuffs which mormons can't break <laughs> <laughs> just in like they're vampires or something what is this <laughs> it's called soaking yeah, so they, what they it is kick is, the top of the bed right no no there's no, no? kicking of beds no oh. no there's no kicking oh, it's okay. it's when they 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 penetrate, but they don't go back and forth. They just sit there, the oh. cu- like, like oh. you know, you know, they they what, and yeah. they they stay in there and they just hang out. I have one better for you because I I don't know how I know about this, but I do. So what some will do is they'll invite over a friend, and they'll get on the bed and they'll jump up and down. <laughs> so so <laughs> technically, no one's having intercourse. Okay, it's just two people. That it's happened like to love each other. Oops, they slipped inside of one another, and now their friend right. has come over and is just playing. See, yeah, that would go really well in combination. <laughs> it's just, just three little monkeys jumping on the bed moment. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, 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 so a good, that's like a Call of Duty attachment to soaking that, that works well. What about gonna, Mormonism makes them want to stay in it in so that, badly? And that feels that like, so <laughs> much dirtier, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> everything about that. Yeah, when you need to bring in a third person, it instantly becomes oodles more kinky than anything else that you like. It becomes yeah, if you more... need a friend to officiate your dick going in, I just feel like... <laughs> Officiation? <laughs> <laughs> Officiate, <laughs> like he's got like a rule book. In What's hand. the pitch? What's the, the pitch holy to, Bible. To, to to someone who isn't Mormon who has no fucking clue what any of this is? You hey, want to come jump on my bed? <laughs> well, if they, <laughs> you want to come jump on my bed with a blindfold on and 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 earplugs in and just uh, don't ask and why e- and earmuffs. <laughs> Do you want to come jump on my bed completely deprived of all your senses? Keep your head low. We're gonna have the fan on. I only if they, and if you they only don't have to do it for it. like two minutes. <laughs> yeah. If they don't respect it, they're not respecting your religion, and that's you know, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's true. And in college, and in college, that's not something you can get away with. It's, yeah, it's you might been, you you might as well be a terrorist. Yeah, yeah, you know, they're not going to let so. you go. <laughs> that's the kind of person that wouldn't be allowed to speak at the at uh, Berkeley. And terrorists um, are not goosing. Yeah, you're not terrorists? crossing that bridge. Well, in Berkeley. okay, they're not letting Hold you on. into the campus. Can we pause for a second? Are here? you going to correct me? Or are you going to say the I, terrorists I'm, are goosing? Well, I am. I'm gonna I'm gonna correct you right now because you okay. know I thought I explained the word well enough to you. Didn't Goosen, realize this was terrorism week. Pretty okay. sure. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit terrorizing right now. Um, Ooh. so okay, the Mormons would say, as the Mormons would say, sat like they Billy the Mormon would say to Sally the Mormon, "Hey Sally, I'm really goosing for a soak right now." <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I'm goosing for a quick soak with you in the uh, the fountain of youth, one might say. Um, so it's 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 like a, what an insane it, thing to say to a it's human it's like being. saying that you've got a hankering for something. Like I'm really I'm looking for some. I'm looking for a soak. I'm looking for some beef bulgogi. Um, but like, well, how was how was the way that you used it just now, Charlie? I, I what, said terrorists some? aren't goosing. Yeah, so it's. That doesn't make any sense. Terrorists <laughs> are goosing to perform a no, bombing they're not. in a major they're city. Not. But they're <laughs> not. <laughs> terrorists are goosing for New York City. I'll tell you that much. Oh, terrorists, terrorists are goosing for the uh, what is it? Game the Game Shark Game Shark Times Square. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, never, um, mind. <laughs> never mind. Never hey mind. guys, Squid uh, Game. You know. <laughs> what, hey, what's going on of, there? Speaking of Before, go- uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. If if we could though, before we go on to our our Squid Game topic, we have for you guys today. Okay, could, could we have a little? Could we do a little bit of reflection on 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 Chuckle Week? A little yeah, bit, I haven't I mean, laughed because we just I ended mean, it. It was nice. I got it all out. 
I have not laughed once since that godforsaken fucking week ended, and mm-hmm. I felt great about it. And now I seriously have to come back in here and have some <laughs> more good times. What is and this bullshit? Can do some do some specific exhalation from my <laughs> mouth and nose. Mm-hmm. In through the nose, box breathing, if you will. What the hell a is bo- box, what's breathing? box breathing? Yeah, it's like a meditation technique. You, it, I don't know. Boxes I'm sorry. don't breathe. Yeah, no, you're so right. Sorry, Boxes, sorry. And, 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 I, no, no, I, 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 I get it. I get it, Charlie. Yeah. I, I, I'm hey, you no, know I, I, I really, a, why don't I really, we go to the next topic? <laughs> no, no, All right? no, 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 no. Hey, I'll say I, a real thing. I'll say a real say. thing. I miss okay. it. Okay, I miss it. I liked it. I liked being able to look around and see you guys and have my neck eternally craned at a forty-five fucking degree angle. That's I was, true. <clears throat> I was genuinely really surprised when when um, Schlatt was was uh, announcing his retirement when he when he mentioned that uh, that was one of your favorite weeks he had done as of late. That was a, a, a yeah. pretty Yeah, it was cool fun, thing. man. I mean, it, it was better uh, than a Discord call, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. And, that's uh, true. we had a lot of good people working with us that were fun to interact with. Yeah. Oh, my God. Shout out to <clears throat> Chris Borough. Shout, shout out to out Borough. Borough. Shout out Borough. Oh, my God. Also, I, shout out just hanging out with, with everybody before and yeah. after the shows. I mean, it's just a good fucking time. Yeah, shout out to the whole, you know, Game Grumps office, too. The, all the people there were very, very oh, yeah. sweet. Yeah, all the employees and, and everything. It was just great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they had My, a fridge stacked full of Monster, and I did partake in the drinking of Monster. I'm sure you guys could see. Uh, every now and then, I'd be sipping on a little bevy. And um, a bit I got to say, I probably threw up every night of Chuckle Week because I would down, like, three of those fuckers Wait, between episodes. It, no one's fault but yours. Okay, is that a bit, or were you actually throwing no, up? No, I was retching. I was retching. I was cool. vomiting. Well, I didn't um, know about this. Well, because I'm not a little, I'm not a little pussy. What am I gonna? What am I gonna call you in the middle of the night, Ted? Am I gonna? Am I gonna stand you know, I wish in you your? Did. Am I gonna walk into your apartment and stand <laughs> in your bedroom like this, Mom? Ted, I, f- <laughs> Ted, I threw up. I threw up. I Ted, threw up. Ted, I borfed myself. <laughs> Can I see? Is that just bed? like a? Ted, that's I just borfed. like a. A, a consistent memory in childhood that we like we, i'm sure we all did this at least once and if i ever become a parent that's going to be the most terrifying thing because also like the kid no is way too dude scared. i'm terrified of my mom i'll fucking vacuum it back up <laughs> the the kids are too scared to notify their parents that they're standing there so the they just wait until the I, at least that's what i did i just wait until my parents until, woke up yeah. and they just they just open their eyes and then their just kid is standing above them like some some domineering <laughs> fucking obelisk and they're just like oh fucking shit i feel like the only uh, thing legal to say as a child in that situation is like oh legal? man <laughs> like that's all you can say <laughs> um but chuckle week i'm i think the biggest mistake uh about chuckle week was and this was mostly my fault was calling it chuckle week <laughs> i think that because for us that was yeah. chuckle week yeah where we we you know we you guys came out to la and we did a full week of just recording episodes but but we made the mistake of continuing to call it Chuckle Week as we promoted it, and everyone was like, "Oh, they're going to post a podcast every day for a week." When <laughs> that would have been insane Jesus if we had Christ, posted. No way. It would have been like two. Well, Scott would have. Scott, our editor, would, would have, have died. Just straight up, as probably fucking killed himself awesome as he, he is. Yeah. Yeah, it it would have been. He's also in like school and shit too, so it's like <laughs> he would have been failing his classes. He would have been failing all his classes. And would have known what the point of the mask is. And, uh, you know. You really stuffed that in there, man. You <laughs> really. Wrong. That was that was a stretch. Um, I'm sorry. Scott I'm sorry. would have been taking his normal pills during that week. I mean, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, no. Had a really good time with Chuckle Week. I suppose this could be considered, I don't know. Would, would you guys consider this to be sort of like season two of Chuckle Sandwich in a way? After after Chuckle Week? Or, or are, we, are we, you know. What do you think? What do you think? So I feel like gonna, we've entered so a new gonna, age. So it's going to keep going? Um, That oh, was the man. general idea. That, that was the general oh, idea when we... You I know, thought honestly, we were going to get body doubles and like cast new people. Yeah, That's what we mean, talked about. Todd, yeah. Sean, and Cameron? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were, we were, I'm going to get Cameron. He's going to be, we he's gonna be the quirky we, one. Yeah. It was definitely the, discussed the, that all the members of Chuckle Sandwich would have a casting... And like would have auditions for who would replace them. Yeah. And uh, we, at one point, we once we had all the people, we just switch. <laughs> we just switch exactly. one day, and then the next the next episode would just be three people who look vaguely like us 
and but are slightly yeah. more like in us. touch with this new generation. <laughs> right, right, exactly. And I then we would be, do that forever. Yeah. It'd be really good, I think, if, if we just somehow pulled together a ridiculous budget and got some really high profile actors to like do a real crack job, pre- like <laughs> pretending to be us, like, like. Timothy Chamolet is Schlatt or something like that. Oh, and he's God. got like the mutton chops and stuff. <laughs> Timothy, and, and, Timothy Schlamolet. <laughs> Sh- <laughs> Schlamolet. <laughs> uh, I get like, uh, who's that guy that, that people say I look like uh, something, something, uh, Bren, what is it, Bren Frazier or something like that? There's that, that, like that guy Frazier. who was in The Mummy. Um, yeah, who's that, Bre- that? I think that's Bren Frazier. That or it's, yeah, I Bren, don't think they're talking he, about the, unless they're talking about The Mummy. The movie, The Mummy. He was he was in that movie, and and I for some reason always get, people say I look like the young version of him, or um, uh, I don't know, or Human Shrek. People tell me I look like Human Shrek too. Human Shrek. Yeah, I you know. do it's not. Like, no, you don't. That's look basically like adjacent Shrek. to just saying that I look like Shrek, which is just such a fucking <laughs> shitty compliment. Actually, I see. I you know what it is. I the, I think the nose is kind of similar, but that's about yeah, it. With, with, that's like oh, as far yeah. as and the hair. With human the Shrek or Fraser. Human Shrek. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, Ted, looking at it now, your nose is just all kinds of fucked up. <laughs> I mean, I holy actually shit. have, I've got a scar right here on my nose yeah. that uh, it looks like I have a consistent like water drop that's about to fall off my face. Oh my God. Uh, it's just like it materialized once you referenced it. Yeah, right. That it's, didn't exist when I was until a kid. you just said that. When I was a kid, we we would go up to Vermont with another family and hang out at this cabin. Yeah, and there was, they, there was this dog. Um, that, you know, I was a kid, I was probably like 12 or 13 and I was a fuck ass. So I decided I was messing with the dog. I was doing this thing where I was, its mouth was open and I would go like this and I would just like close his mouth a couple times to make it look like it was talking. And the dog did not like that. And it fucking bit me in the face and I, it fucked up my, oh, my shit. nose a little bit. Yeah. I had to go to hospital. Yeah. And yeah. I've, I've had the option of being able to fix this, but I'm just like, it's kind of a funny story Party, of man. how much of an idiot I was when I was a kid. So, you know. It's a battle yeah, well, scar. You thought about fixing it, and then you thought, when I have a podcast. When I have a podcast, this mm. will be a really good 30-second moment. <laughs> and it'll <laughs> be worth gonna, it. That's going to, you know, that's going to All right, you can off. cover it up now. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, you got it exactly. out. You got now, it out. Now more. that I've done it, I can... Oh, man. I'm looking for scars because I don't remember if I have... Yeah, any. what's what's your guys' defining childhood scar? I have a scar on my fist from when I fell off of stairs. Uh, whilst looking at my phone, there was a, so I was in New York city. So this is recent. No, I was in New York city. I was walking, I was kind of walking along and for some reason it just kind of stepped one down and I was on my phone. Oh man. I, I, you know how, when you like expect another step to be there or you miss a step and you're like, and you, your whole, you kind of get a pang of anxiety and you feel yourself going down. Yeah. I was, I was at like. I was concerned because, like, holy shit, uh, this is going to really hurt. But also, I got a brand new spanking Galaxy S4 in my hands. I can't wow. fucking drop this thing. So, <laughs> exactly. you know, I can't, I can't turn my hands and block my fall. So what I did was I just kind of fell onto my hand, and it absorbed everything. <laughs> and I, I, That's I, a hero. I scraped, really my, scraped my fucking hand to oblivion. There's a huge scar across both of my knuckles here. Oh damn! I can. And see I was it. riding on the subway for like, for like my my whole hour long commute home from New York City. I was just bleeding profusely. I had to grab like you know you know one of those paper bags that yeah. people in Penn Station will like put tall boys in and and, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and yeah. drink alcohol yeah. out of. I was just yeah. covering it like I was like my hand was like fucking minx or something. Oh, it was just man. so too ugly to even rear its ugly head. Okay. Bleeding is just the worst. Just the worst. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. That's how I got my. That's how. I, the that's description how I got my of my scars. The description of you prioritizing your phone over falling under your under your under your hand it says is a like lot about one of those. Society, huh? Well, it's like one of those conservative comments you or conservative comics that you'd see in like the newspaper where they're like these people don't know they're always looking at their phones and stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's new generation. Charlie, do you have a scar? Yeah, I do. I have, so, I don't, it's on my knee. I don't know how well you can see it. Wait, is it on this side? Yeah, you can't really see it that well, but it's pretty, it's like, definitely uh, rough right there. And I have it on both knees. <clears throat> and so what happened was I went to a, uh, when I was a kid, I went to the summer camp and there was a rollerblading day. Mm. 
And I thought I was going to be really cool and really fast. And so what <laughs> really happened, quick. yeah, and I didn't have like knee pads or anything. And um, I went a little too fast for my little boy bones and uh, ate shit on one knee. And so I came in and I scraped it on like pavement, like that sort of oh, school, God. like rough pavement. And I was like, ow, Jesus Christ. I get up, it's like bleeding. And I'm like, just going to skate on over to the first aid lady. I turn, you I start skating, again? I fall on my other knee, oh, <laughs> immediately no. get that, oh, and then like, God. two weeks later, um, in, um, in Boy Scouts, uh, or I guess it was like Cub Scouts, um, I don't know, but you have to do, for something, you need to do like a little physical fitness test, and there was a running part of it, and my knees were still kind of fucked up, and I was running, and I slipped again, like on a turn on gravel, and got the same knee as the first one again, just like God, absolutely that's so unlucky. And gravel fucking hurts, and it like got in there too. Oh, I think that's yeah. why there's a scar. So I, I came down on the gravel, and it just like took a chunk out, and there was a bunch of gravel pieces, and I was like, Jesus Christ, this is not the merit badge I was hoping I'd have to get today. Ah, like. I had to get That's, in there and, and clean out all the all the shit and the. It's like Jerry rig everything, pouring gravel <laughs> into the into the <laughs> new dude, Motorola sucked. flip phone it to see if the so hinge bad. still worked. That's yeah. funny that you have so like I have, a, I have like a pretty uh, it's like on both knees and kind of the same spot. The skin is just like all you know all like, gnarled up. You can kind of tell. Yeah, um, dude, it's when funny you said that you, you have a gravel. Both. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, that's funny that you have a gravel based uh, scar because I actually had. I got a scar from on my knee from gravel as well, Charlie. Oh. And uh, not necessarily an entirely similar. We need to find similar. this gravel guy after this episode. It's, it's right here. You see that? Yeah, I think so. You know, like, like, uh, it's kind of hard to see. I got a bunch of fucking hair on my knees. Same but, kind of thing. Um, audio listeners love you to death. It's a scar on my knee. Um, it was when I was really young and I, did, you know how you have, I don't know if, um, Maybe you guys all grew up in like kind of suburbanist neighborhoods, right? Yeah. 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 So like you, you've got, you may have had like some kids in your neighborhood you hang out with and you do shit and and when you're a kid and stuff like that. Um, I there was one kid who lived in my neighborhood. He lived right right across the street from me, and I thought it'd be a really good idea if I he was on a bike and I was like I could race you to the end of my to my driveway, the end of my driveway to the, where the garage starts, faster than your bike. Because I'm a kid, and I'm an idiot, and I have no idea how the world works, and that bikes are generally faster. So, yeah, the thing is, at the time, my driveway—we hadn't gotten a paved driveway yet; it was a gravel driveway. Um, so we're running, you know, and I'm sure you can guess what happened. Like right as we get on the gravel driveway, I fucking trip and I just scrape that fucking knee. It's just a it recipe is, for fucking disaster, man. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, I didn't end up going to the hospital though. It was, it was. It, I just let it heal, and now I've got a fucking mangled knee too nice. this is a podcast full of boys with mangled knees and fists and you know why because ted nibison <laughs> runs out of nowhere do you know who laid down that kneecaps. gravel who Do laid down the gravel? Who, who gave me those roller gravel? skates? Ted Niverson. He was exactly. right there. He was driving the fucking cement mixer that laid down that pavement. And then he it stepped right out of it and time. gave me those roller skates, no knee pads, and he said, you'll be fine, champ. Guess and he actually, and actually, actually you know what, out. Ted? I got one more yeah. story for you. Uh oh All right, here we go. Good luck here, man. <sighs> Thanks, Charlie. Appreciate it. Yep. I don't know if you can see it, but I actually have a scar across... By my philtrum? You guys know what a philtrum is? No. Like that I mean, piece? It looks like you're pointing to it. You know? It's like not you know? a body part you know Kind of like where scar. the mustache grows, kind of like around the mouth, you know? Yeah. I hide it with a, uh, with a mustache now. With a mustache? <clears throat> of course. But I'll tell you how I got it. My father was a drinker. <laughs> my, <laughs> my father. And, and a fiend. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh... Hey, guys, you want to know yeah. something funny that everyone's been talking about and can't shut the fuck up about? Yeah. Squid Game. Ne Netflix Squid, Netflix Squid, Squid Game. Game. We're finally talking about something relevant, guys. Yeah, Aren't you all so happy? We talk yes. about Squid Game on the podcast? I know exactly how many 40 million won is in USD, and I know all these things now because of Squid Game. Mm. <laughs> in this video, I took 256 people and put them in a children's playground. That's a good reference. 
Um, I like that. Yeah, no, Squid Game. It's it's sort of sweeping the nation, sweeping the world. It's it really uh, is, isn't it? Well, it's. I mean, it's definitely the fastest, like, growing show on Netflix. I don't know if it's number one yet, but it's definitely going to get there. I think I it like. may be the number one show on Netflix of all time, or something, oh, something along the lines of that. But I actually made a, I made a tweet very like maybe a couple days after Squid Game came out, um, which was. Biggest ever series um, at launch, yeah. Wow. It was on September 26th. When did, when did the show launch? Uh, Squid Day. <laughs> Squid no, Day? Squid Game launch. It came out on... Why is this so hard to find? Hang on. Oh, my 17th, God. Who cares? September 17th. Uh, September 17th, yeah. 17th? Okay, so 10 days after, it, or less than 10 days after it came out, I tweeted that new Netflix show, Squid Game, is just a Mr. Beast challenge with death involved. Schlatt got on my case that I didn't tweet it on main because it would have gotten a shit ton of likes because, I mean, it, it only good. got 46 It was good. Likes. I, I mean, saw that, on. and I was like, damn, I wish I thought of that. Well, Charlie, I didn't tell you this, but I'm I and I'm confident that I'm one of the first, at least probably the first content creator to make that joke, at least that has enough following to get attention. Um, but uh, when we had met Mr. Beast the other week, apparent he told me that he had seen that tweet because a bunch of his friends had sent it to him. And now, and I'm not saying that I caused this. And I'm not saying that I'm the. Okay. I'm not saying right. that I'm sort of a martyr. Are you here, sure? Because it seems like maybe that's what you're. I feel like a little bit. I just, I, I, I just feel like I'm damn close to being a martyr to this whole situation. There's a new TikTok out from Mr. Beast where he says, "If this video gets 10 million likes, I will recreate Squid Game on YouTube." Martyr means you have to die, I think. Yeah. So who do you think's who do you think's going to be trying to get on that video? That's what I like to see. And you got to go down. Go. That's what will make you a martyr. Ted, go. he's going to make you stand in a in a red circle for 48 <laughs> hours, and that'll be the whole thing. And then a red square for a week. <laughs> and then a red square, and then a red triangle, and then a red umbrella. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the, that maybe he could... He the could umbrella one is the, just uh, him with a fucking fire hose <laughs> spraying people out of the circle. Yeah. What do you guys think that that would look like, though? Like, I mean, genuinely, if, if he were to do Mr. something Mr. Beast about... Squid Game? I mean, a lot of them are pretty... E I don't want to spoil anything, but I think a lot of the people know the first one. Like, red light, green light is a very easy thing to recreate yeah. for a video, right? Um, and then a lot of people know about the honeycomb one, too. Those are, like, the two yeah. really popular ones. That seems yeah. pretty easy to, to do, too. I think you just for do that, and then you just shoot the people that lose, and then... Yeah. yeah. I wonder how, you know... Because he's, he's so family-friendly. I mean, how do we sell... That's the question of the day, really, for Mr. Beast. I think he's got to figure out. How do we sell death to kids? How do we do that? I think it may be positive in a way because, you know... Pink if you guns. Get com if, if you get kids comfortable with the idea of playing childhood games also could result in death, then they kind of get more comfortable with life because it makes it easier to understand because it's like, oh, I go to the playground. You know, maybe if I lose this game of seesaw because seesaw is definitely a game i'll get shot in the head and i think oh. that that's a really progressive yeah sort of thing i mean correct I like me it. if i'm wrong here, PUBG, but I PUBG think playgrounds i like it PUBG playgrounds <laughs> um i'm trying to think like what would be because a lot of the the games that what are you played, trying to ask how do we kill the nation's youth what are you saying well, man not necessarily <laughs> I, what i'm saying is that a lot of those games like the honeycomb game I don't, none of us knew what that was. But no, dude, every, Korean so I've specific. been watching it and every time, actually that one specifically, like until I explicitly saw what was going on, I had no fucking clue what the characters were talking about. They were having yeah. all these revelations and seeing all this shit and doing all this stuff. And I was like, well, no, you got a little bitch. Are you going to eat it? I don't understand. <laughs> Yeah, like so. when he saw that he was, he was the umbrella, he was like, I'm going to fucking die. Yeah, here. and I was like, why are you not going to get wet? Yeah, but like it. what would be an American childhood game freeze that's tag. like freeze tag Ooh. i liked yeah i played a lot of freeze tag oh you know what would be fucking miserable musical chairs oh, oh shit that would be yes, so dude. bad musical chairs so bad. is already would... terrifying enough on its own <laughs> that's a real good one can Charlie. you imagine how fucking nuts that would get oh, like the only rule was that you had God. to be sitting down Holy shit. Yeah, that would be terrifying. Because you'd know oh. that a certain amount of people were going to go. 
And I, I'm sure you would pull out some nonsense. Like, I would probably start just hitting people with a chair. Like, just carry it around with me. Yeah. What the hell? Well, that's... Oh, wow. That's a really... Because yeah. cause some... I don't know if you've ever seen musical chairs. Like, if you... I, I think I saw one once at a school event. Like, some sort of fucking pep rally thing in middle school or something Yeah, the like guy that, pulls I, the chair away from the girl. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or, like, like an adult just, like, pushes someone aside or something like that. So, mm. people fight for that chair. Already. So like th- All, you yeah. don't need to do much to get them to kill, right? Oh, I mean... Yeah. No. If Mr. Beast was looking to do something, musical chairs would be a really good addition because that that shit gets real nerve wracking. Okay, Charlie, you, that's a win for you. I okay. would say. All right, all right. Let's take it around. Let's take it around town. Okay. Um, um, Ted, hit me so, with one. Oh, okay, I wasn't prepared. Um, I think mm-hmm. that maybe a really good one to do would be pin the tail on the donkey. Oh, I like that. I like that. Now, what's the like what's the one? death? What's the death gimmick here? The death gimmick. Mm-hmm. If you don't get the tail on the, the donkey, donkey is your you mom. die. The donkey. <laughs> okay, nice. You pick, you pick a pair. You pick who the donkey is, and you pin the knife. <laughs> <laughs> or or yeah, maybe maybe that it's like easy. you put you put three people's lives on the line. You line people up. One's a real donkey, and one is two like fake donkeys or something or or one's a fake donkey one's two real donkeys if you pin it on a real donkey then you fucking get kicked to death by the donkey (laughs) nice (laughs) this is great it's good so dumb how would you not be able to distinguish which is the real donkey (laughs) if you've got but if you if you've just had covid you're at a disadvantage because you can't smell it shit um how about this one (laughs) hey put this in your pipe and smoke it Okay. You guys remember yeah, Heads Up 7 Up? No. No, I what? don't. Wait. You don't know Heads Up 7 Up? No, I do, I think but that, so I think vaguly, that, I can't. I think this is similar to maybe air sipping. No, no dude. There's no, no way. There's, okay. This yes, has to yeah, be. Yeah, no, I got you it. play there's, this in school, Ted. I did. I, I remember this. Can you this, is what would happen, this is what would happen when, well, you, when it was like raining and you'd have an indoor recess in elementary school. Yeah, well, and you just explain. be indoors playing games. You put your heads down on the table. There's like there's like a couple people who are who are it, right? Every round, all the kids sitting in their and their desk put their heads down on their table and they put their thumb up. They put their thumb oh. up on the desk. And yeah. it, you know, very silent, you know, no one can see anything. The people who are it walk around the classroom, they get one person, they hit their thumb, the thumb goes down. They walk back up to the front. At the end of the round, heads up, seven up. I don't know why it's called seven up. Are there seven people that are it? it just seems I don't like fucking a random know. number. I don't think so. Anyways, uh, the people who got picked would stand up and try and guess who picked them. They try and guess who got them. And if, oh. you guessed, if you guessed correctly, then, you know, they get shot or something. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> I could see oh. that. I actually really like that one. I would say that's a win as well. Yeah, mm. that is a win. And, and speaking of indoor uh, recess stuff, a, a real good one would be uh, mafia. So many, there's just so many rules, you know. I don't, you gotta be there. Who's yeah, the, the doctor? Well, the who's announcer, the... the announcer lady would be going on for like 20 minutes. It would, and then, they, and then they'd be like, "Oh, be... someone accidentally opened their eyes. We have to restart. Like that. We needed yeah, that guy." Yeah, to be... I mean, come on, Ted. Just the come whole on, fucking Ted. thing, Ted. Hey, let me hit you with another one, Marco Polo. <laughs> oh shit, that's a good one. That's a win. That's oh a win God. right there. Come on, picture Dude. it, picture it. You got a you got a creepy little fucking robot this. crawling around. You got the characters hiding. It goes mark out. And then they're like, and then it has to and crawls over. And if they lose, big win. And if they lose, they get um you ever heard of I think in horror movies sometimes you hear about people who get like suck get stuck to the bottom of a swimming pool? Because their like bathing suit gets sucked stuck in that. Uh, oh, they get oh shit! Oh, they get yeah. sucked into the fucking filter. Yeah, they get sucked into the filter. Oh, the filter gets just really strong. God, no! They all got specific. Why would that ever happen? <laughs> because it's a squid game. It's a squid okay. game okay. fictitious yeah, scenario. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so if you don't, so if you lose, you get sucked. <laughs> <laughs> you hey, look, the only experience a, the only experience I have with that tube. shit is putting my is is going up to the one of those Do pool not jets. Say what I think you're you, about you to say. Be careful. Put Do my not. Pool. 
Sixty. <laughs> Fucking awesome, man! Absolutely, yeah, goddamn dude. awesome. Hey, how about this one? Uh, duck, duck, goose, but on like ice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but if the ice breaks, everyone just dies. <laughs> What? But it's like about funny because they got to get up and like scramble and try and run around the circle and <laughs> that turn would be goosin. That would be, be goosin. Be though, funny. Too. That would be goosin. I'm goosin riddle, for that one. Riddle me this: mm-hmm. Christmas themed moment in Squid mm-hmm. Game. Okay. Mm-hmm. Give them a steam powered train and a lake full of ice. They got to recreate that one scene from, from Polar, Polar Express. Express. <laughs> <laughs> and if they don't, oh, they all die. <laughs> and if they all right. don't. <laughs> if they all don't, they get the hot chocolate scene, but it's poison. <gasps> Ooh. Imagine all those all of those workers in the Squid Game in their red suits with their things, and they're all dancing like it's nice the hot chocolate that. scene. <laughs> oh, hey, that's I've got really a, good. I, that is really good, but I hate to break it to you. I got another good one loaded up here. Oh, Ooh, man, Charlie, okay, please okay. send it our way. Just throw out a couple guesses at what this is, because it's going to blow you away, guys. Okay. But, uh... So, okay, good good stuff. <laughs> I can just say it. I'll just I, say I'll be it. honest. I'll be honest. I said okay, and then my mind blanked like I didn't need to That's actually fine. think of something. Hey, guys. Um, snowflakes. Si- Simon says, put your hands up. Oh, oh shit! Oh Put shit! Put your hands down. Oh, oh you're fucking dead! You're fucking dead! You're fucking dead. dead. Dummy. Bum, 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 that's bum, a, you know, that's a really good one because that one could, you know, it would save some money for the Squid Game in, Incorporated or whatever the fuck because they they, they, just need a room. they would just use that that big fucking robot of the girl again. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. But that one that seems that terrifying to me because you'd just be focused so hard. Oh, and like, yeah, that one is solid. I mean, for those of you who haven't seen Squid Game and don't know what we're talking about, I I would be surprised that you're there this is, far no, into society no. and also into this podcast at this point. But it, it's a it's a Korean show where a bunch of people play in a death game that's made up of childhood games. Um, that's uh, they really like. I've noticed that a lot of like, I watch a lot of these these like film explain channels, and I've seen a lot of like. Um, like a lot of like Asian death game media. I don't know why. Yeah, so I, I don't. I think it's a it's a common theme in a lot of really really popular Korean movies and shows that come comes out. Because Squid Game was originally supposed to be a movie, but it also could be is, an anime. I feel like is it's it's definitely an interesting thing because um, it does it does sort of come come off like a similar it comes to like across an anime as one. does. Yeah, yeah. I think that that might just be. Um, the concept's out there enough that that's, yeah. that's kind of why. Yeah, and it's like tournaments and contests is a very is a very common thing as well, like like Hunter X Hunter or something like the the Hunter exams and sure, stuff sure, like sure. that. Um, but it's sort of similar, like the themes of it are similar to like Parasite in the way that it's it's about like greed and society and like money and 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 people and capitalism. Miserably. And I still haven't finished the series, so other well, things too probably. <laughs> well, that's just from watch. I've only like I haven't really watched any more of it than three like three or four episodes. So, I, yeah. but um, I need to finish it. But um, Schlatt and I, we I don't we think Squid Game's about greed. You don't think so? No. What do you because think it's I, about? Um, squids. So they have <laughs> <laughs> squids in the games they play. So I mean, spoiler territory. How many episodes are you in? Like three. Yeah, like three. I think the second episode exists to explain that this show's not about great. Because at first you're introduced to this really fucking shitty character. And he sucks ass. And he doesn't remember his daughter's birthday. And he's just bad. And he gives her a gun. And he sucks to his mom. And he's terrible to everyone. And he goes to this thing to make a lot of money. And in a fucking thing... Spoilers again, guys! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, so in this sort of twist that I, don't, that I didn't expect, they make a vote whether to stay or leave... And they left. They they yeah. they the majority votes to leave the this fucking death game to win lots yeah. of money. And then there's a whole episode so dedicated okay. to them yeah, just in their regular life. Yeah, you see where I'm going. And then yeah, they all it, at the end of the episode decide to go back. Because it isn't it isn't about greed. It is yeah, exactly. It's because they have no other choice really. And I yeah. think really like the show is 
is not about like look at these people trying so hard to get money. They just want an they just want a way out of because their lives fucking yeah. suck. They're like yep. I would literally yeah. take a chance to die as opposed to this. So I, yeah, I don't think I mean I don't think the the huge amount of money or the or the or that really matters too much as it is like it shows sort of how yeah. how far people will go to get that second chance that society doesn't give them and it puts them in that hole. In the first Riddle place. me this then. Riddle yeah. me this. Yeah. I would say that a lot of the cream meter that's gotten really popular is a is often about more generally human nature and and what like the prioritization of like stuff like that because Schlatt and I uh, during the week that he was he was out here um, we watched not Chuckle Week but the a more recent time um, we watched Train to Busan mm. Mm, yep. and that movie is very much so about human nature and. A Greedy rich guy folks. fucking over, <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. over. Train to Busan. It's an I don't, regular I don't, movie. I, I, I love that movie, but I don't remember what what part the rich. Oh wait, no. There's the rich guy on the with them, right? That constantly oh, yeah. is fucking at people every, over. At every yeah, possible yeah. turn, he's just yeah. looking. The guy that hides the bite, man. The guy that hides the bite. The self important guy. There's always one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you haven't, yeah. He that, and that he's the reason why we would need a naked zombie colony. <laughs> For in the zombie Yo, the snake and zombie collie. dude i will say like if it were if it were set in america i feel like every other like every fucking third guy would be the guy that hides the bite you know what i mean oh God, <laughs> they'd yeah. be like not me i'm built different well yeah but then there'd also be there if if a zombie outbreak happened in america there would be it would be a political be conversation so on whether or fucked. not it's real we'd be so <laughs> whether fucked. or not there's actually zombies <laughs> like up until literally everyone was dead yeah yeah um, either way, except Joe Rogan, who had immunized himself with Joe Rogan started started drinking copious amounts of like Windex, and he's like, "Dude, you, you just don't fucking get it." <laughs> it just, it I get a bite right here, and nothing's it, fucking it, happening. <laughs> the the horse dewormer doesn't work for COVID, but gives him full immunity to the zombie virus. <laughs> If you get a bite, you just spray some Windex on it and stuff and, and rub some bleach in it. Nice and clean. What's oh, up, man. freak bitches? <laughs> <laughs> Joe Rogan brings oh, a zombie chained up onto the podcast to get to the bottom of this. Yeah. I don't want to, I mean, I don't want to generalize, um, I don't want to generalize anything, but I definitely think that like, I mean, yeah, like the old rich guy is always going to be the bad guy. And then the young guys are always going to be the good guys. That's why I always get surprised when I see an old protagonist because usually they're just as a stand-in for like greed or power or whatever yeah and wow. that's the podcast okay. yeah and that's all the right. podcast <laughs> uh that's all we've that's all we've got for you guys today uh we're we're, we're trying out some 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 shorter more bite-sized contentful podcasts nom, nom, nom. but um yeah thanks so much for listening to this episode of chuckle mm -hmm. sandwich you can catch us next week uh I don't, I don't, I don't, I forget how to end a podcast. That's, that's no okay. Idea. Yeah. Uh, let us know what you think of this little, uh, this little chuckle, chuckle, like, w like a little lunchable, less of a sandwich, yeah. more of just like a little, a little lunch bite. It's an uncrustable. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, good. Yeah, an uncrustable. Um, we're, we're planning on, you know, we're doing, we're back on our weekly schedule, ladies and germs. So if you got some topics, stuff you want us to talk about, we're thinking about various new ideas to, to add to the podcast. And we're very, very excited for the future. Send so, us ideas because we are out. We keep are on, out. We're, keep we're, on we're, chuckling. We're, we had three months to think of ideas and we got here and we just choked. We got nothing. <laughs> I just sipped luxurious drinks for three months straight through my mouth and breathed in through my nose. And now I'm here. He's drinking a coconut on a dessert. It was a thing. big fucking coconut. Okay. It was <laughs> massive. It lasted oh. me months. <laughs> Thanks so much for listening, folks. Catch you next week on Bye. the Chuckle Sandwich Podcast. Squid you later. <laughs>